Here are a couple of new updates about the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Starting with the display, Samsung produces its own displays, which are employed in its devices as well as supplied to other companies like Apple. Traditionally, Samsung reserves the best displays for their Ultra phones, while providing older displays with technology from the previous year to other manufacturers. However, this practice shifted this year, evident in the fact that the iPhone 14 Pro Max boasts a superior display compared to the S23 Ultra. While the reasons behind this change remain unclear, fortunately, this will not be repeated with the S24 Ultra. Reports from South Korean media indicate that Samsung will adopt a 13th Gen OLED panel for the entire S24 lineup, including the Ultra model. This new display panel is not only slimmer and more power efficient, but also offers enhanced picture quality. Interestingly, the upcoming iPhone 15 Ultra will employ 12th Gen OLED panels, already featured in Samsung's recent foldable devices. The incorporation of M13 panels into Apple's smartphones might not occur until the iPhone 16. Moving on, recent information reveals that Samsung will maintain a 3 times telephoto lens for the S24 Ultra, albeit significantly improving its performance. Earlier details were limited, but now we have a comprehensive understanding of the enhancements made to the telephoto lens. Renowned leaker Ice Universe suggests that Samsung will introduce a big 50 megapixel telephoto camera with 3 times optical zoom. This marks a five-fold increase in resolution compared to the S23 Ultra's 10 megapixel telephoto camera. The new camera will also feature a larger sensor, resulting in detailed photos and videos with three times zoom capabilities, even in low light conditions. Moreover, the intermediate zoom levels between 3X and 10X will also exhibit remarkable improvements. Considering that zoom cameras have remained relatively unchanged since the S21 Ultra, this advancement is long overdue and exciting. Personally, I'm delighted by this development, as the 3X mode produces aesthetically pleasing photos with better subject separation than the main camera, which has a wider field of view and less background isolation. On a related note, the South Korean report confirms prior rumors of RAM and storage upgrades. The report indicates that the S24 Ultra will be available in two RAM configurations, 12 and a massive 16 gigabytes. The S24 and S24 Plus models will also come in two RAM options, 8 and 12 gigs. Additionally, the base storage across all variants will reportedly be raised to 256 gigs. Interestingly, the report attributes the provision of improved components to the Exynos chip. Due to its in-house production, the Exynos chip costs significantly less than its Snapdragon counterpart. This circumstance empowers Samsung to negotiate more effectively with Qualcomm, potentially leading to reduced Snapdragon chip prices. So Exynos indirectly contributes to creating a better Samsung phone experience for all users, including those in Snapdragon regions. However, there is a trade-off. European and certain Asian markets might receive phones with slightly inferior performance. Although the introduction of a 10-core processor with improved yield rates for the latest Exynos suggests a reduced performance gap, historical trends prompt cautious optimism.